Good afternoon. It is Thursday, February 10th, a uh, week before this one in the Missouri legislature. Our week was cut short because of the impending weather. So Tuesday afternoon, we were all sent home. But on Monday and Tuesday, members of the conservative caucus held the floor, filibustered, disapproving of the appointment of Director Kowaroff as the Department of Health and Senior Services incoming director. He, uh, because of timing issues, was forced to resign and, um, or felt forced to resign as opposed to having the governor tell him he could not serve anymore. Uh, it was an unfortunate state of affairs, I think, that was an embarrassment to a man who had worked hard on behalf of our state. And I was disappointed to see the conservative caucus uh, put this man and his family through those kinds of antics. This week, the conservative caucus uh, and this is, these are the extreme conservatives in the Missouri Senate, um, have held the floor for a good part of the week to try to make congressional map redistricting very, very extreme in support of Republicans winning seats across the state. As you know, we have eight congressional districts. Currently, two are held by Democrats, six by Republicans. The maps that the Republican Conservative Caucus wants to put forward would eliminate one of those Democratic seats. Frankly, not giving anybody much of a choice throughout the state of Missouri about who will represent them and which party shares their values. This is ongoing. We have not reached a consensus on any maps at this point in time. It has not come to a vote because the Conservative Caucus is filibustering. And now, usually when we go home on Thursdays, we are going to be in session again tomorrow, Friday, and perhaps even Saturday to continue. I don't know if I'd call it a discussion because uh, it certainly hasn't been a discussion. It's just been a war against time uh, put on by the extreme conservatives in Missouri's legislature. Now next week, if things are able to get back to normal after this long week in the Senate, um, what we will see is a couple of my bills being heard in committee. So I wanted to let you know about that. And I'm telling you partly because if you have an interest in testifying, what you have to do is come to Jefferson City in front of the committee and make your testimony and your thoughts known, whether you're support or, in support or opposed. On Monday at 2 o'clock, uh, one of my bills, Senate Bill 640, which is the Sexual Assault Survivors Bill of Rights, will be heard in the Judiciary, Judiciary Committee. So again, two o'clock on Monday, uh, Senate Bill 640. If you have an interest, please look it up online or contact my office. It's an important piece of legislation. The current Sexual Assault Survivors Bill of Rights is in court. This would undo that and, and put into place a really good piece of legislation that's gonna help survivors throughout the state of Missouri. My second piece of legislation that may very well be heard next week, if things have some degree of normalcy, uh, is Senate Bill 641. And this will be heard in front of the Insurance and Banking Committee on Tuesday. And this is to provide women whose doctors prescribe it a full year's worth of birth control coverage. We wanna make sure unintended pregnancies don't happen in our state. It's best for the women, it's best for their families. And we have a way to really help with that we know that because this kind of law has been passed in 22 other states, and it's been very successful in reducing unintended pregnancies. So I will talk to you soon and have more to tell you. Meanwhile, stay safe and healthy and take good care.